Today, I'll be rewriting the career of Paulo Diabala. Before we do start this video, however, we'll be playing the last game of Paulo Diabala's career in this video, so make sure to stick around for that. Yes! 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 But today, we have a 72-rated 18-year-old Paulo Diabala. And we have put Paulo Diabala in the worst team in Argentina, Arsenal. No, not that, Arsenal. You silly bitch. But let's go ahead and add his first development plan for season number one. And of course, it's going to be the one and only poacher. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Okay, so at the end of season number one, Diabala has led Arsenal to 12th place. You know what? That's pretty decent, man. They are the worst Argentinian team in FIFA. They only participated in the league. So we're good on everything else. So after a decent league season, Paulo Diabala has been up a plus three up to a 75 rated. But let's go ahead and see his stats this season. He better have killed it, man. It is the Argentinian league and he scored eight goals and five assists you know what it's a pretty decent season but you know what? it's a pretty good season for 19 year old Paulo Diabala by the way let me know down below what club do you think Diabala will join in real life let's go ahead and go to season number two and see how he does there what do you mean in so we're now in season number two and Diabala is at a 76 rated. This is probably going to be Paulo Diabala's last season here in the Argentinian League and with Arsenal. Let's go ahead and give him his development plan. And I think I'm going to go for target man because he's very good at finishing already. But guys, I'm expecting a huge season for Paulo this year. But let's go ahead and go to season number two and hope he gets more than 10 goals. Okay, and at the end of season number two, Arsenal finished third to last, 24th place. Diabala, what happened, man? However, this year we were in the South America and yeah, it didn't go well as well. Third place. But it's another plus three for Paulo Diabala now out of 79 but what happened to this club man went from mid table to almost the last place diabala how many goals did you score and six goals and six assists yeah that's what happened but yeah diabala definitely did not leave his legacy here at arsenal but it's okay it's not his fault he is going to leave this trash side and let's see what club he ends up next season what do you mean? but in season number three paulo is already at an 80 rated it's time for him to go so yeah i forgot to mention he joins atletico so yeah that's where he joined and as you can see at 20 years old he has potential to be special let's go ahead and give him a development plan here at atletico i think i'm gonna go for mobile striker because he needs to pick up that pace. Let's go ahead and go to the end of season number three in his first La Liga season. So at the end of Diabala's first La Liga season, he does finish in fourth place. At least he has Champions League football next season. Supercopa. Did we win it? Yes, we did. That's Diabala's first trophy, man. As for the Copa in España, can we win a double? No, Barca have won it. Were we in the Super Cup? And no, we weren't. But the Champions League, did we win it? And no, Arsenal have won it. We did get eliminated in the round of 16 to Juventus. So I'm pretty sure Diabala is delighted to win his first trophy, but he is now at an 86 rated, man. But it's time to check his stats for the season. Please get more than 10 goals And yes boys For the first time He's got more than 10 goals 28 goals And 9 assists For Paulo Diabala man When I first received That Atletico offer I wasn't sure If that was going to be The right club for him But he did score 28 goals His breakout season So I'm guessing It was the right move Let's go ahead And go to season number 4 And let's see If we can have An even better season Next year What do you mean in So now in season number 4 Paulo Diabala is the 10th Highest rated in the side Surely by the end of the season He'll be number 1 But for the development plan This season We're going to go ahead Let's go ahead And give him uh, Let's go ahead And give him Poacher again But boys I'm hoping For at least 2 trophies for Diabala this year. Okay, and at the end of season number four, Diabala wins his first league title here at Atletico. But boys, I have a feeling that this trophy winning isn't over. Copa de España, can we win it as well? No, so see that have won it. You have a Super Cup, we won't in it. But can we win the Champions League? And no, Barcelona have won it. Nonetheless, it's another trophy for Paulo Diabala, but he is now at a 90 rated. That means we can start checking the ball on doors. But his best every year was last year scoring 28 goals. Let's see if he somehow outdid that. And no, boys, 19 goals and 8 assists is still a good season. He now has two trophies to his name and over 50 goals. Let's see if he can win any more trophies next year at that to go. I think I'm gonna keep him here for at least one more season. What do you mean? In? Okay, and during the offseason, he did go up a plus one to an 81 rated, and he is now in the top five rated. But boys, I have a very and I mean very good feeling about this season. Let's check the development plans. Can he still grow? And of course he can. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give him a target man this year. But this will be the first year we check the ballon doors. Let's hope Mbappe isn't the winner, like always. Okay, so in the first ballon door ceremony of the video, it has been given to Ooh, Joao Felix. Leagues, Paulo Diabala's teammate. Okay, so at the end of season number five, we just missed out on the league title in second place by four points, man. But Diabala has only won two trophies in his career, both a La Liga, won the Supercopa, and one of them the league title. Can we win the Supercopa once again? And yes, we have. That is three trophies for him. Copa España, can we win it for the first time? Yes, boys, that's a double so far. We somehow win a treble here with Diabala. Atletico and no, PSG have won it. However, it's an amazing season nonetheless. Not only did Diabala pick up two trophies, but he is now at a 94 rated. Boys, if he's at a 94 already, he surely must have a super season. Let's go ahead and check how many goals he scored. And 40 goals and 13 assists. His best every year yet. Okay, I was going to leave Atletico this season. But you know what? They're growing as a team. I'm going to give him one more season to win the Champions League here. And of course, if he doesn't win it, we'll move on to a bigger club where he can actually win it. What do you mean? Okay, so we're now at season number six and possibly his last season here. He is at a 94. He could possibly win the Ballon d'Or this year, by the way. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and give him, let's give him a mobile striker this year. I'm really hoping when I go to the second Thursday of December, Paulo 
Diabala is holding his first Ballon d'Or of the video. Okay, it's the second Ballon d'Or ceremony for Paulo Diabala. He is now at a 94. Surely he has won it and Kylian Mbappe needs to stop winning the Ballon d'Or, bro. FIFA, please fix your game. But the end of season number six, Paulo Diabala has won another league title. We're slowly racking up these trophies. Supercopa, can we win it once again? Yes, boys. That's two trophies so far. Can we win a domestic treble? And yes, we have. That's three trophies in one season. But boys, can we actually do it? Can we do the quadruple in only season number six? And yes, we have. We have won the quadruple with Paulo Diabala. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tempted to stay here rather to go this season. He is now at a 97 also. But let's go ahead and take a look at his stats this season there is no way he scored more than 40 goals right that's his best every season by the way and he has done it 43 goals and 15 assists i think i might have to stay here man you know what i think i might have to stay here he did score 40 plus goals in back-to-back -back seasons and he just won a quadruple i think it's best move for him to stay here he's certainly gonna become a club legend here at the to go but let's go ahead and go to season number seven he better win his first ballon d'or what do you mean okay so for the first time in this video paulo diabola has become the highest rated here at the to go in season number seven but boys i think this is the year he wins the ballon d'or let's go ahead and give him the man plan it looks like he can't really grow that much anymore let's go for target man just because we want him to reach that 99 by the end of the video okay i believe this is our third ballon d'or ceremony come on diabala this has to be the one you scored 43 goals last year fifa please do not let him down it yes boys we have done his first ever ballon d'or let's go but we have finally won the one trophy we did deserve in this video and at the end of season number seven we have won another league title here for diabala super copa copa espana can we somehow win back to back quadruples and that's a double so far come on let's make it a triple a domestic triple no boys but the back-to-back -back quadruple is still one as we do have the UEFA super cup and let's go we have one and that's a triple already please win back to back champions leagues if we win another champions league we're staying here for the rest of his career and no we have not that means we have to move next season but it's another three trophies for diabala and he is now at a 98 rated okay i know i did say i will only stay here if i win a quadruple which we didn't but if he somehow scored 50 goals or more we're staying here because that is the best we've ever had but diabala it's your time to decide are you gonna stay here at the to go for the rest of your career and no you are not 33 goals and 13 assists but diabala now has one ball on door to his name and it's gonna be very hard leaving this team right here but you know what boys we want to see what team he can carry in the last two seasons of his career but let's go ahead and see what happens what do you mean okay so in season number eight i thought i'd do a team who's been taking l's all season a favor so we have moved diabala to the worst premier league team in the world manchester united so diabala is the best player in this side let's go ahead and see if he can still grow to that 99 and it looks like it's gonna take him forever but he might reach it by the end of the last season but boys let's see if he can win another ballon d'or this season and let's see how he does in his last two years of his career at man united so in the second to last Ballon d'Or ceremony, Ken Diabala went back to back Ballon d'Ors and no, Joao Felix has won it. So at the end of season number eight, in Diabala's first Premier League season, we finished in second place, man. No trophy so far for him at Manu. FA Cup was won by Tottenham and the Carabao was won. Come on, give it to us. And yes, boys, that's another trophy for Diabala. So we were in the Champions League in his first season in the Premier League and we did not win it. But guess what? We got knocked down in the group stages. So that we somehow win the Europa League and no boys. However, it is one trophy for Diabala, but he did not go up to that 99 this season. He is now at a 98. But Diabala's best ever season is still 43 goals, which he did at Atletico. Did he somehow beat it this year? And no, but 32 goals and 16 assists is an amazing achievement. But we have one last season left. And remember, we're gonna play the last game of this video. Hopefully it's a Champions League final, but he should be 99 by the time we play. So it's gonna be my first time playing with a 99 rated. What do you mean? Okay, we're at the final season of this video and I cannot way to play with Diabala who is now at a 98 rated hopefully he reaches that 99 but we're gonna keep his development plan because it only takes 111 weeks to get to that 99 but like I said let's go ahead and hope that the last game is a Champions League final but let's go ahead and see if he wins the Ballon d'Or this season okay so we're at the last Ballon d'Or ceremony of the video and Diabala only has one Ballon d'Or can he go ahead and make it to it no Joao Felix has won it again and boys as you guys can see we have been set up for the perfect ending for Paulo Diabala's video we will be playing the Champions League final but let's go ahead and see how we finish the video in our final season of the premier league sadly we never won the title but as for the FA cup can we win it for the first time and no lester i won it care about cup can we win it back to back and no we lost in the final man and boy sadly somehow some way diabala did not reach that 99 rated he finished at a 98 but as for his final stats this season obviously before the champions league final you guys can go ahead and add it at the end i'm not going to but let's go ahead and check how he did this season and he scored 34 goals and had 14 assists and another amazing season okay it's time to read diabala's final stats before we start the game diabala did 
did start off his career at the worst Argentinian team in FIFA, which is Arsenal, then went to Atletico Madrid, and then ended up at Man United. Started off at a 73 rated, eventually he's finishing this video now at a 98. Diabala did score 243 goals, assisted 98 times, had 12 trophies, and won one Ballon d'Or. Obviously, we have one game left, so let's go ahead and see how it plays out. It's been a beautiful journey for Diabala so far in this video. Let's go ahead and give it to a perfect end. In ultimate difficulty, we're facing Leipzig in the Champions League final. And Kunku on the ball. It's in Kunku. And Kunku look for Diabala. And Kunku through ball into Diabala. It's Paulo Diabala now. On his right foot is Diabala. Diabala looks to cut inside. It's Diabala. Finish from there. Finish shot. It's a great save from the Leipzig goalkeeper, man. It's in Kunku now. And Kunku on the ball. And Kunku. And Kunku does find Soler. It's Carlos Soler on the ball. Carlos Soler finds Diabala. Diabala cuts to his left foot. It's still Diabala. Takes the space. Diabala on his left foot from there. Finish. And it's a goal. We get lucky. The goalkeeper puts it in. We have taken a 1 0 lead in the Champions League final with Diabala. Oh, here comes Adam Hoseleg. Adam Hoseleg on the ball. It's Hoseleg. Finds Palinha. It's Palinha. Palinha still on the ball. Palinha. Come on. Make a tackle. It's a through ball to Ali. Great save from Costa, man. Virginia striker finds Palinha. Great tackle. Oh no, we miss. Oh no, it's Gonzalez now. Gonzalez. Nicolas Gonzalez. Looking for a shot. No, he gets past. Great save by Costa again, man. He's saving us today. And Kunku. It's Nkunku on the ball. It's Nkunku. Christopher Nkunku. Through ball. It's Paulo Diabala. Can he get his brace? And the Champions League final finish. No, it's a great save from Onana. Here comes Elanga. Elanga finds Nkunku. Nkunku. Through ball. Diabala. With only a couple minutes left. Can he get his brace? Diabala. On his left foot. Finish. The captain. Let's go. Diabala has scored a brace so far in the Champions League. He is captain in the side. That means he will possibly lift the trophy if we continue this lead. Hosek. Adam Hosek. Finds Palinha with a shot. Boys, it's 2 1 with three minutes left. We might actually choke this. We might bottle this, man. Boys, we have won the Champions League final the perfect way to end the video for Diabala and boys it's time for Diabala to lift the trophy come on let's hype it up everyone in the comments hype it up Diabala is about to lift his last Champions League of his career and oh hey Diabala has won the Champions League the perfect way to end the video if you guys really enjoyed this video you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this video right here 